Hey there. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I've heard that many people have a difficult time relating to scripture. And there are lots of reasons for this. The Bible was written in another time for another culture in another part of the world. And most of us, to be honest, aren't walking through the split waters of the Red Sea, killing giants with slingshots, or having conversations with angels. Like, I get it. There are some moments, though, that seem so relatable. One of the most common themes in scripture is things not working out as planned or as hoped. Think of the rich young man asking Jesus what he needs to do to have eternal life. Or Martha and Mary feeling hurt and confused when Jesus doesn't rush to heal their brother Lazarus. Or Jesus' own disciples during his arrest, crucifixion, and his time in the tomb. These moments are super relatable to me. Maybe they're relatable to you too. So many things in my life did not turn out how I had initially envisioned. Today's first reading is a great example of that. Paul and Barnabas are trying to spread the word about Jesus to the Gentiles, to pagans. They're met with about every response besides the one that they hoped for. In one case and on one extreme, people try to kill them. In another case and on another extreme, people think that they, Paul and Barnabas, are Zeus and Hermes and start worshiping them. Not too good. The good news is that it ultimately isn't up to us. Jesus in today's gospel promises that the Holy Spirit is going to show up, which is a godsend given how well our plans typically turn out. If we're open to working with the Holy Spirit, the spirit of love and wisdom, then we can trust that God is going to be able to bring something good out of our efforts, no matter how poorly they may seem to turn out. God did it with Paul's efforts to convert the Gentiles. God can do it with our efforts to bring God's love into the world too. When things don't go as planned, it's normal and natural to feel frustrated or upset. I invite you though, in these moments, to remain hopeful because we have a God that can write straight with crooked lines. Have a great day.